This is a cryo cooler Stirling engine. So uh, most people are familiar with Stirling engines where heat is applied to the engine, which then uh, mechanically activates the engine. So it turns the flywheel, or if it's a free piston, the um, bobs up and down. With this particular type of Stirling engine, uh, the opposite is happening. So there is an electrical motor on the top, which is on here. Um, in the actual metal casing um, and that drives the mechanical mechanism which is in here. Now I actually haven't taken this um, stone engine apart yet um, I do plan to at some point. Um, I suspect strongly because of the shape of it um, there's going to be some sort of mechanism down here. I have seen um, very crude CAD drawings um, for this um, stone engine so I roughly know how it works and um, the mechanism seems to be a beta type stern engine so there's effectively a power piston here and then there's a displacer that shuttles up and down here a very small thin displacer so what's happening the motor's going around and one end is getting very cold the other end is getting quite warm um, and the whole purpose of this is this type of engine is to act as a heat pump to extract heat away from somewhere um, so this one's actually got um, uh, an application for infrared um, or thermal imaging. So the idea was that the sensors are mounted somewhere around here um, and they need to be kept very cold because of the, that's how the electronics works otherwise you get um, um, lots of noise on the, on the, on the actual signal. Um, so yeah, this gets very cold, this could get down to, um, I don't know exactly on this particular one, but I suspect it would be typically very close to minus 200 degrees C. Um, this one was designed to go in an aircraft, so it runs off uh, 110 volts at uh, 400 cycles, um, so 400 hertz. Um, and these are the leads going in, I've got a power supply which is, which is out of shop. So, um, Let's uh, get it going. Um, what you might be a little bit noisy, but um, you will see quite quickly that the frost will build up on this one end. And this side will obviously begin quite warm. So let's give that a go now. Already, it's cold to touch. Very cold. You might just start to be able to see some condensing on the end. It almost looks like a different shade at the moment. Is still an engine cryo cooler.